Natasha has something from you that I could never give. You can give a lot of more. So, at midday tomorrow, a group of ostensible exterminators will remove the bugs that seem to infest your home. From this point on, I have nothing more to do with your lives. Get her, Annie, me. Oh, hi, Colin. Oh, my stars. What are you doing in that get-up? Oh, so people don't recognise me at the hospital like last time. Too many things have been happening lately. Um, like uh, marijuana crops and decking people. Too many secrets. So why we all pack for the move tonight, you can talk. Mom, I can't. And I'm, I you talk. To this. I'm going to talk. Because there's going to be some brand new family rules for this move into the brand new family house. Because you kids better stick to them. chance at your exams. I'm really sorry. You're sorry? I know that I've lied to you and you know the way you found out. Dane, just... I'm not angry with you. I love you. I love, I love that you do that for me. Hey, hey it's... It's fine. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be fine. You have to be. Hey, I will be. I will be. Well, you're praying to the king. Oh my God, you are. Hey, hey. Who was it? Sally was there. Finn was there. Colleen was there. Hey. Do you feel what I mean? Yeah, now. And that's what matters. Yeah, um, this, I've been avoiding kissing you because when you're on the chemo, you're open to all these infections and, um... So I can't even kiss you? For a while. It's okay. I love you so much. I love you too. Which is why... You have to go and do these exams. No, okay, I can't even think about them at the moment. You cursed. You got to. All right, your last exam's on Wednesday, and then you're home free. You can't give up on me now, Tess. This is what it's all been for. You are amazing. Do you know that? I just got the world's most amazing wife. Irene Roberts? Depends who's asking. Stafford McRae. I'm Mr. Osborne's personal assistant. I know you. I've seen you with Morag. I was just on my way to see you, actually. I wanted to tell you that you have your privacy back. The surveillance cameras have been removed from your house. I believe Mr. Osborne has already apologised for everything. Yeah, well, it would have been better if there'd been nothing to apologise for. I'm simply here to repeat his request for regular updates on his daughter. So the cameras are gone? And the listening devices. Well, seeing as Mr Osborne's kept his side of the bargain, I'll keep mine. Oh, he is a man of his word. He won't bother you again. I'm glad to hear it. So tell him he'll get his updates. You all changed him, you know? Oh, yeah? How's that? Watching you all. It affected him, for the better, I might add. I'll take your word for it. Are they going to help Josie? Oh, that's between Josie and me. 
I asked Mr. Osborne to go easy on her. I know. I have my instructions. I assume she knows what transpired between you and Mr. Osborne? All right, told her. Good. Well, that means all I have to do is deliver his plans for her and I can uh, leave you all to it. So, goodbye. So, I've just come off the first cycle. Which is why you've been getting nausea, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, and now I've got to rest until the next one starts. How long? Well, a couple of weeks, depending on what they find in the first assessment. Yeah, but what does that mean? I, I don't well, understand. Well, it just means that they do some blood tests to work out whether the chemo is doing what it's supposed to be doing. Or if the cancer's getting worse. No, just they might have to shorten the time between each cycle so they can fit more in. So, how long does the whole the whole thing go for? Till about mid January, and then they do another big assessment and they work out. Well, we just see where we go from there. Okay, at least I'll be here now to look after you. I want to take you home. I'm going to get your stuff. Where are your bags? Um, second bedroom. <laughs> oh, no, the pest people. The what? Oh, the fumigators. I got them in. I should see if they're still there. Why have we got fumigators? Well, she suddenly got this thing about bugs. They wanted us out so they could do the place. I don't have bugs. I know, that's what we said. But anyway, they're there now spraying. Well, I can't go home then. <sighs> Hang on, I know. No, it's perfect. This new tool enough for you? I came to tell you your rent is paid till the end of the year, but after that you're on your own. Your investment in the bar will be covered as well as any bills up to the opening. But again, after that time, it's up to you. And an amount of money has been placed in an account in the event Tasha wishes to redevelop the caravan park. And? And I advise you to use the money prudently. Because if Ian even suspects it's not being used for the express purpose I've just outlined, he'll be most annoyed. Oh, that's really, um... Reasonable. Oh, well, yeah. You can thank Irene Roberts for that. Rory told me she'd gone into Bethany. I found it hard to believe. Well, now you can. And that's it? Ian wants you to make sure Tasha never tries to contact him. Ever. The caravan park and the money are her inheritance, and that's it. Clear? Josie! We've been looking for you. Hey, now you found me. Who's the dude in the black? Oh, he's no you one you need right? to worry about. I'm yeah. fine. <laughs> yeah. If I say I want you home now, I mean now, Rob. Yes. You can see her later. I'm sure Tasha's not going to forget what you look like. This is not a debate. If it's good enough for your brother and sister to be here, then it's good enough for you. Yeah, I, I expect to see you very soon. Mum, we just wanted to say sorry. Apology accepted. So, what are these new rules? Uh, I'd rather wait till Rob gets here. But, Mum, we're trying to do the right thing here and you're... Look, look I want to say what I want to say once. Okay, so I would rather wait till Rob gets here. Maybe you two could start on your rooms. Oh, they're in a good mood. Oh, don't worry about them. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Excellent. Um, are you still looking after the, the, the bookings? Yeah, till Friday I am. Till Friday. Fantastic. Huh. Uh, what do you think, huh? I think you have the best <laughs> ideas. I asked especially for this van. Wow. It's hard to believe that it's been for a year since we've been in here. Oh, no, how far have we come? Like six cheese and crackers for dinner. Yeah, cards on a Friday night. Colleen singing yeah, on a Saturday morning. I don't know. But I love you just as much. No. More. More. Mm. Mate, what? Oh, sorry, babe, I forgot. Mm. Anyway, I told them that I'm studying, so hopefully they won't come bother us. Mm, that sounds good. You know that we're going to win this, right? Firstly, we're going to beat my HSC. <laughs> and then we are going to beat your cancer. And then if Tasha hasn't knocked it down, we're going to come back here for our 50th anniversary, <laughs> aren't we? Yeah. Robbie, I wouldn't do a live for you. Well, if your mother wants you home, it's not a good idea to keep waiting. Well, she's just going to chew us out. Well, all the more reason to get going, then. You don't want Tasha getting into trouble, because...